Hello everybody, welcome to my video series. In this video series, I will be explaining how you can use the Graph ABI using Python to make simple requests and make some data analysis on it. So uh, first, what is the Graph ABI? The Graph ABI is an API developed by Facebook, so you can use it to get data from Facebook. For example, get data from pages, groups, or even your personal page. Facebook contains a huge amount of valuable data that you want as a data analyst or a researcher. We will be using Python and Pandas. Pandas is a library for Python that is very powerful. If you're familiar with data frames, you'll get along with it. So if you're not, I suggest you check it out before the course. I'll be making some simple examples on pages and groups and get, for example, things like what are the most interesting commented on like posts when does a similar group have most amount of uh, posting or people some things like that so uh, stick around and I hope you enjoy it okay so let's get started so uh, first thing I want you to open Google and type graph API Explorer or graph API and this will take you uh, to this page Facebook for developers you need to enable it if you're not registered as a developer on Facebook anyway then you go to tools and support and graph API Explorer we want to get to know the graph API Explorer a little bit so we will use this tool graph API Explorer it's made by Facebook it's very cool to uh, to let us learn about how the graph API works so the way uh, the Graph API works is it needs one thing that is very important is uh, the access token. This is like your password. This is what tells it who you are. So you want to give this very private. The other things that it uses is the, of course, the get request or the URL that in this case is me and fields. So what we're saying here with this request is I am me is just my profile and I want my name and my ID so if I submit this here we go I got ID and I got my name and of course I can uh, let's try adding age of course uh, this is not a field but you can see search any fields here so birthday here you go so this way you can search for any a field that you're interested on. Cover cover will get us a URL, I think, for the cover page. Why well, it's not working? I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay. So uh, we will use Steam as our sample page to make some analysis on. If you don't know Steam. So uh, basically Steam is a game store, uh, so we'll use putting Steam here and see what we get. We only got the name but to get, uh, let's get some interesting stuff. So I want posts and I want a message, which is basically the text uh, of the post. So as you see I get some uh, posts here and each post I get ID and uh, the text of it so uh, as you know the ID we cannot remove this field so uh, limit is a very cool uh, another uh, field let's make limit one which will give us only one post the latest one there's a field called next it means there are more posts that are not shown here and you can go to this link to get more posts more results so uh, as you see next you can browse so anyway yeah let's go back back so as you see this is like a tree so anything uh, here belongs to the comments for example limit is a limit for each comment on each post i mean the limit of the number of comments per post uh, and what else can we find here like likes user likes or like count is a number of likes for this comment it's just an example of how uh, this tree structure works so as you see it's very easy to use 
the graph api using the graph api explorer you can play with this till you get uh, a request that you are satisfied with so our next step is we want to use this in our uh, in a, a programmatic way so let's open our ide and uh, write some code 